Hey all, here are OS Reviews. In this video, we're taking a quick look at the Baseus Blade 2. This claims to be one of the world's slimmest high-capacity power banks, making it a little easier to slide into a laptop sleeve or a pocket of a backpack for traveling purposes, and it has 65 watt power output, so it's going to be sufficient for charging up laptops, including MacBooks, with a 12,000 milliamp hour capacity battery. And what also makes this model a little bit unique is it does have a LCD screen on the front that can show you basic status, including charging speed, battery percentage remaining. In addition, there is a optional companion app that you can download for your phone on iOS or Android. And taking a closer look at power consumption. That is the first time I've ever seen a power bank with a optional app before, so that will be interesting to see how that works, whether it's really necessary or not. So only 7.3 millimeters, and they claim to be using premium EV grade battery cells that should last for thousands of recharge cycles, estimated to recharge most smartphones and tablets around two to three times, depending on the capacity of your device. Comes in a few different customizable colors as well, including marina blue. There's also kind of a coral, orange color and a silver. Unsurprisingly, with the whole slim design and colors that they've gone with, this has won some design awards as well, weighing just about one pound in terms of weight as well, and there is simultaneous charging of two devices at the same time. Inside of the box, we have the Blade 2 itself. This is the blue colored version, and you also get some user guides along with a pretty fun kind of Baseus sticker pack showing some pretty good attention to detail. I gotta say that Baseus, along with Anchor, are perhaps two of my favorite kind of power supply related brands that I've covered on this channel. Hopefully that reputation remains on this model. There's also gonna be a soft carrying pouch that you can use to further protect the Blade 2 when on the go with the company's logo there using just a sleeve. And there's also a Type-C to Type-C cable that you get as well for charging both the power bank and other devices. Now a closer look at design. Now the texture on this power bank's surface is really interesting looking with its almost visor look reminiscent of some of the older Google Pixel devices. But surprisingly, this is just one single piece of polycarbonate plastic. In other words, there is no gap between these two pieces. It's just an optical illusion based on the textures that are imprinted on the inside of the build. So it just creates this slightly more interesting look, almost like a gradient finish on the back of certain smartphones. And very beautiful looking, I have to say, for just a power bank, though it does attract some fingerprints and smudges. We have that display at roughly 1.5 inches. And then on the very top here, we've got the two Type-C ports which are both input and output rated. So you can use either of these ports for charging your laptop as well as the power bank itself. All of the edges are also flattened and almost reminds me of kind of an iPhone 15 aesthetic if we had to make that reference. What I will say though is the 65 watt is the maximum output. So if you are charging, let's say two laptops simultaneously, just know that's gonna be split 33 watts a piece on both of these ports. So for the fastest charging on a more power hungry device, you would probably want to use just one port at a time. But for charging two phones, for example, that should still be more than sufficient. There's also going to be the power key there for waking up the display. And that is more or less it. Because this thing is so slim, they only have room for just type C ports. There is no full size type A just to serve as a reference, this is what a regular Type-A port looks like, which technically, I guess, can still fit within the 7mm frame. But considering Type-C provides faster charging rates anyways, I think it is what it is. You also have a little bit more of logo work imprinted on the very back here, showing some of the various charging profiles. It really is a beautiful finish, I have to admit, with all of the kind of textures and gradient patterns that flickers across the light as you're holding it. Let's turn on the display here just by pressing the top, and it will have a boot up animation as well based on user, the Baseus logo, and it tells you the battery percentage remaining. The screen is pretty easy to use and it's a full color IPS panel. That being said, it's not a touch screen on here. Not that you really need one on a power bank at the end of the day, but just pointing this out. So launching into the Baseus app, which is also going to be used for their other products, including wireless headphones and turning on Bluetooth and location services, you'll be able to find nearby devices, including the Blade 2, then tap to pair. And from here, we can take a look at the current temperature inside of the power bank, the percentage remaining, as well as change the theme, aka the display here on the top. So right now we have the orange theme, but I can also change it to black, blue. The color on the display here has also changed accordingly, a little bit more close to the shade of the power bank uh, that we have in this particular variant. You can also change it to gray as well to further customize what that looks like. Has to be the first time I've seen customizable 
dials basically, almost like a smartwatch on a power bank, but quite fun, even though it is a little bit extra. You can also trigger a low current mode that will then turn off uh, after four hours of usage. That might be neat to have if you're trying to charge up, say, wireless headphones that require something closer to trickle charging, a little bit safer for those devices, and also a shutdown timer as well. So you can have the power bank turn off after, let's say, three hours of charging automatically. The third tab here allows you to check if there's any firmware updates, whereas the second one here will show the charging status of both USB Type-C ports. I'm going to plug one side into a ultra portable laptop and after just a split second you can tell that charging has started here and also on the display of the power bank we can see basic status including the bluetooth connectivity with the app as well as the duration left in the battery pack before it runs out and also the usb type c port is drawing 20 volts 1 amp at the moment and that information is also displayed in real time on our companion app. Right now we can see the wattage as well as hovering around 20 watts as well as the current and also the voltage as well. What I will say though is it seems to be just a snapshot in terms of the stat as opposed to being kind of a real-time chart that gets generated and you aren't really able to save it as a historical record for instance. Try charging something else using the second port, let's say this smartphone that we have in front of us. We'll plug it in and again both devices are now charging simultaneously we see both ports being displayed on the display. So now C1 is drawing 9.3 volts and 1.8 amps. The power bank still remains decent in terms of thermals. It gets a little bit warmer, but it never really feels too hot or uncomfortable to touch, which is certainly good. And again, it really is ultra slim. In fact, thinner than most smartphones that have just a thin TPU case attached, as you can tell there. In fact, here's a quick example of it sliding into a laptop sleeve. So some of the pockets here are otherwise designed for things like chargers, but because this thing is so compact, we can just pop it in there and it takes up very little space, as you can tell. Otherwise, again, charging performance seems to mostly hold up. Most of these devices get fully juiced up in around just an hour and a half or so. The display will also time out after a couple of seconds of inactivity if nothing is being plugged in and then turn off to consume less power, as well as if the battery reaches 100%, it will stop charging itself automatically as well to prevent any overcharging from happening. And now, while the power bank itself is being recharged back up, the numbers will continuously flash. There's also an indication of how long the power bank will take until it reaches 100%. And in this example, since we're recharging the power bank, the icon has turned green. It's drawing around, again, 26 watts, it seems like in this case. The current is about 2.2 amps and also 11 volts. And to fully recharge the power bank here from an empty state, it only takes around an hour and a half or so. So it's relatively quick to top up as well. And if you're wondering, yes, it does support pass-through charging as well, meaning that you can both recharge the power bank as well as plug another device like a phone into the second port and charge that device back up. You will see the two different indications for the power bank being used as well as green here for the power bank being topped up. So performance seems to be relatively stable when I try charging a couple of different devices, including phones and computers with it, didn't encounter too many issues. Speeds were indeed relatively fast, thanks to the kind of gallium nitride GAM-based technology that a lot of these higher wattage-based power banks are operating on these days. So that is more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of the Basius Blade 2, this ultra-slim, high-capacity power bank. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That has been the very stylish Basius Blade 2 ultra-slim power bank.